You know what I'm saying? And let's and, go back to, to how the police were even started. Like, police started as slave hunters or slave catchers. Basically. They were, um, they were slave patrols. Right. They, to make sure niggas wasn't yeah, running away. They were away, created to you know? catch runaway slaves. Right. So, and, um, there's really no right. difference now. Exactly. So and you got to know the origin of the police. They were created to, to uh, target black people exactly. at first. The only difference is and, now their weapons got better. Right. And then they were only policing only black neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they weren't in any other neighborhood besides black people until they realized, oh, other people do crime. Uh, common sense. But they still you know act like that's not the case. And, and But even when you look back then, the black people that were getting arrested, they weren't even doing anything wrong. They were just getting arrested for being in the wrong neighborhood, right. being mm -hmm. out past a certain time. So they weren't even criminals. They were just regular people. They just wanted to control and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Manipulate. And keep in check. So people got to understand the origin of the police. The origin of, po of the police is to always attack black people. So it just changed, you know, they created more laws, you know what I'm saying? And then that's why when you look in our communities, you see nothing but white cops in there because they keep in the same code. It's just like, what I noticed every generation, they, they, they become a little bit more clever to what they do when they attack us, you know, like this generation, they got the technology, they got the weapons. Now they could just easily just say, Oh, you know, you know, any little excuse like with um, Breonna Taylor, not to, you know, bring her up so fast, but they said her boyfriend was a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? And it's like now we just got to just be sympathetic to human life just because some person is doing something bad. You know what I'm saying? We got to just be like, OK, he's a drug dealer. I get his life don't matter. I just could kill him, you know? It's just, it's just crazy. They already want to kill us. Our lives don't matter to them. Exactly. And that's just the excuses that they go with. Oh, he was a drug dealer. or He was on drugs. Or... Exactly. Because when you look at these white people cases, like, listen, and let me, I work in a white neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I and they sell drugs too. They sell drugs too. And it's funny because, in the, um, like, you can see out my window. Mm -hmm. Like this white guy, he can't, you know, the way they sell drugs is different. <laughs> like he, he went up, shook his hands, like, and, and I seen him grab his weed from him and like nothing because they, they live, they can live a normal life selling weed or whatever mm -hmm. and not be harassed by the police because the police look at him as, oh, this is one of us. He's white. You know what I'm saying? And even if a white person, if it was a white neighborhood, and they got the call that somebody was selling drugs. You think they would have broke into his house, started shooting, and all of this other craziness? Even if they had a warrant, they would have announced themselves. They were, hey man, you gotta come with us. They and I heard there was body about. footage, body cam footage that came out. I yeah, haven't seen it yet, but have you I've seen, seen it? it? Yeah, I've seen it. it. It doesn't show too much, but you can see the officer yelling. He's mm -hmm. like yelling at the the boyfriend or something. Telling him to move forward while um Brianna Taylor, she's in the other room, like I guess she's dying or she probably was dead already. Mm -hmm. But um he was yelling at the boyfriend, and the boyfriend probably was just like you know, upset and scared because he you know his his uh girl was shot mm -hmm. and she in the room not getting any help, and the cops are just worrying about him, he's not even a threat. But anyway, we going a little bit forward, we're gonna we're gonna go back. I mean, all the topics kind of intermingle with each other. So. Right, right, right. Because it's the same so, shit that keeps happening over and over and over again. Right. And exactly. And as black men, we this been going on before the cameras. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know me. You know. We from the hood. So we know how. Rodney we, King was the first one to get a uh, to get caught on camera. Exactly. Exactly. 